hey, what's happening, people? Uh, today we're going to look at the AD100 Pro Flash, and we're going to take some pictures with it. And I'm going to use a very simple light modifier as an umbrella. To show the versatility of this setup, we're going to take some pictures indoors, and we're going to take some pictures outdoors, like always. And uh, on my uh, uh, tutorials, I'm going to use always the two examples, the indoors and outdoor setups, because this is, you know, like uh, something like everybody, you know, encounters in uh, their day-to-day -day, uh, shooting and is the best way to have a better understanding uh, what you can get uh, with this setup. The AD100 flash, I think, is the most versatile from the Godox family. I like it even better than the Godox V1. Of course, if you have to use the flash from camera, this is the way to go, and it's a super uh, reliable flash. For my work, I like to use uh, the flash off camera, and uh, because the AD100 Pro has a, a standard amount uh, I think uh, it, it helps a lot and it's a very strong and you don't have to uh, use uh, different uh, modifiers, you know, to or adapter to uh, attach your flash to the light modifier. The umbrella is very uh, underrated uh, light modifiers. Of course, uh, I'm not talking about the shoot-through umbrella. I'm talking about the reflective umbrella, the one you bounce the light uh, inside of it. The light always travel in a straight direction and uh, as you know you can have hard light, uh, soft light, uh, specular light and diffuse light. With an umbrella you kind of get uh, the, a mix of, uh, of these lights and if you use uh, the, um, a bounce umbrella you know, with no front diffuser you get a very uh, specular light and it's why most of the people uh, stop using it because you know sometimes it's very hard to control or gonna spray uh, light everywhere it's gonna bounce the light uh, everywhere and uh, sometimes you know the shadows the transition between the highlights and shadows or uh, uh, even if the shadows are too dark but if you use uh, a front diffuser everything changes and uh, I like to use the umbrellas because are easy to carry they are very cheap you know, not super cheap but they are fairly cheap and uh, you can uh, uh, create uh, all kind of uh, uh, looks on your portraits the light what you get on umbrella is super soft and it's a diffuse light because you, when you use the flash, uh, uh, even in your uh, sub box, and uh, it sprays the light in the front, even like you double diffuse it, it still has a kind of like a, a hot center, and uh, you know it diffuses to the sides. And uh, and an umbrella, you know, you point it to the back of it, it hits the the back, and you can control how much or how uh, uh, little of the inside of the umbrella you uh, fill it up with the light pattern, and. Uh, what happened, you know, when the uh, light hits the back of the umbrella, it starts you know, uh, getting scattered inside the, uh, the modifier and it hits the, the front diffuser and it scatters even more. So you have a very uh, diffuse light. I think with just one light, uh, you can achieve a very professional portrait and it's very easy to, uh, to have a very uh, nice professional look with uh, just one light modifier and uh, this little uh, super uh, powerful and versatile flash. For this interior setup, uh, I have the light like 45 degrees from Eric, who's gonna be our model today. And uh, kind of like 45 down. I'm gonna do the uh, Rembrandt uh, lighting on uh, all these portraits because it's easier to understand for everybody. And I have the uh, flash on a manual. It's, uh, right now it's uh, 16 power. I'm gonna shoot with a Fuji camera and a 56 millimeter 1.2 lens. This uh, Fotec umbrella is uh, so versatile. I like the diffusion material on it. And you can see it's a, a wide uh, silver interior and it has a little bit of uh, re reflective materials to better uh, spread the light inside the uh, umbrella. I'm gonna have it, you know, maybe uh, three, four feet from uh, on my subject. And you always uh, have to have your uh, light modifier no more than two diameter lengths uh, of the modifiers from the face of uh, your subject. So we are like a really uh, in close proximity right now. I um, have the light 
above his head maybe one foot and uh, as I told you it's like four feet from uh, Eric I still try to feather the light you know in front of him I'm trying to get that a nice uh, Rembrandt pattern on his face he's gonna smile and gonna look like he's happy right now I like to use the umbrella in outdoor shootings because you can have specular light and you can have diffuse light and one modifier. On the outdoor session, I always start with uh, uh, establishing the ambient light exposure. After that, I'm going to pay attention to the composition and I will try to uh, create some separation between my subject and the background, either, you know, the physical distance or, you know, different, uh, try to have the background different colors. So my subject always uh, pop up from uh, the background. When I turn on the flash, I always start with the small increments to make sure that, you know, I'm not overdoing it. In outdoor session, I always ask my clients to look towards the light because I, I can avoid the double shadows and I'm going to have a nice smooth transition between the light and shadows on uh, their face. In location like this, I will not uh, shoot wide open because I want to show off a little bit of the surroundings and I think it creates a good memory for uh, your uh, client. When you move to the open shade, because you have nice diffuse light around you, it can be a little bit more creative where you position your light and you can uh, create different uh, uh, light patterns on uh, your uh, subject. The AD100 is a nice uh, small little light. I think it packs a lot of uh, uh, output for a, a different situation, but you have to learn the limitation of this light. It is not a, a jackal of trades, it just works in some situation and you have to have it uh, pretty close to your subject uh, when shooting outdoors. I like how small it is and uh, the battery it lasts forever, you can shoot the whole day with uh, one full battery and uh, it doesn't take too much room in your uh, camera bag and you can take it with you, you can have it with you all the time. enjoy this video please check out my channel for more lighting tutorials and uh, gear review please like and subscribe and i'll see you next time